Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu said Russia's called its invasion of Turkey's airspace a mistake. Davutoglu said that two Turkish jets were sent to intercept it because that's part of the military rules of engagement. He added that Turkey will keep its channels of communication with Russia open. NATO Secretary General Jan Stoltenberg said he's convening a meeting between the ambassadors of the military alliance on Monday to discuss what he says are Russia's unacceptable violations. Early on Monday, the Turkish Foreign Ministry announced that a Russian fighter jet entered the airspace on Saturday. Two Turkish F-16s intercepted the jet and the Russian pilot then withdrew. The Turkish Foreign Minister Feridun Sinirolu called his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov to warn against any similar violations. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has announced that Australia will spend $1 billion to buy armored land vehicles for its army. He said the country would purchase vehicles and trailers built in Australia. Australian forces are part of the coalition against ISIS, but Turnbull said the purchase did not suggest a greater global engagement for Australia. A local paper reports that the government expects a total of 1.5 million refugees this year. So far, Germany has publicly reported it expects between 800,000 and 1 million asylum seekers. The International Organization for Migration says more than half a million refugees and migrants have crossed the Mediterranean this year to reach Europe. The Nobel Foundation has awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine to three scientists. Their work led to the development of drugs against diseases such as malaria and elephantiasis. The foundation said their discoveries would improve human health and reduce suffering around the world. About 3.4 million people are at risk for contracting these diseases worldwide. Thanks for watching. TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.